I've been paddling this board for a couple of weeks and it's time to do the review of NSP Auto race board. We start with the board specification and take a deep look on the board. After that I will paddle and tell you what I feel on the water. NSP is a new board brand for me. Maybe you have this board or been paddling NSP boards and have a lot of experience. Drop a comment. I really appreciate to hear what you think about this board or other NSP boards. This board is 14 foot long, 27 inch wide, 6 inch thick and 314 liter. This is a single chamber board and you should inflate between 15 up to max 18 psi. The weight of this board according to NSP's website is 9.3 kilo so my board is little lighter and uh, handles it is one handle on this board. It is very well balanced there are no bunnies at all on this board but it is possible to camp with this board i did a overnighter you can watch the video i will put a link down in description in the back we have two d-rings i don't know what they are supposed to do there and in the tail it's one ring for the leash it starts to rain so it's time for a pause in front of the handle you find a hole in that hole you can fit a quarter inch screw six millimeter if you live in sweden and you can attach a gopro or gps and it also fits with ram mount when it comes to the board shape this is a race board so it is narrow until you reach the standing area and then it gets narrow quite quick and in the tail you have a pin tail and the nose has quite big rocker i'm a flat water paddler but i guess this nose will be awesome for waves surf we flip the board around and there are nothing going on here except for the fin box. This fin box is completely flat. You start to inflate the board just so you get the board shape. Then you put these two plastic fins together with a strap. And after that you inflate up to full PSI. This makes the fin box be completely flat just as a hardboard and that makes less drag or maybe no drag at all. Oh my god, this pump is not good at all. It is hard to pump with it and it takes a long time to pump with it. It is a double action pump that you start with the double action, you pump them upstrokes and downstroke. Then you take out this little uh, red button and uh, you only pump on downstroke. But I think I never will use this pump again. You get a big fin. And the fin box is 215 millimeter long. The fitting are still tight in the fin box. <laughs> this board has a lot of pockets and you don't need to roll the board as tight as when it come in the package it's a lot of room in the bag the bag has wheel so you can roll it when i carry the bag the comfort is okay 
it will do but it could have been better the build quality of this board is high end but not top notch and just before i go to the water and paddle the tail runner on this board is not glued straight and that is one of the things that makes this board high quality but not top notch when we looked at the board i forgot to say that these markers are really good to have so i know where to place my feet we start with the stability this is a race board so for me i think it's really stable but i think it's best to say that it's stable and it is a race board and for me when i do a step back turn the pintail is really unstable but i never do step back turns when i paddle I thought it should be harder to paddle this board in a straight line because the fin box has a quite forward position on this board so it should be easy to turn and hard to paddle straight but this board both paddles straight and it is easy to turn so that is really good. The flex on this board, when I just stand and uh, flex it, it feels like it's a lot of flex. But then when I paddle it, I don't feel any flex. So if you are heavier than I am, it could be a problem. But for me, it's not a problem. And so to the speed. This is a fast board and it's light to paddle the resistance of this board is very light it could be because of the flat fin box especially when i go up river against the stream this board feels very light to paddle compared to other boards i have wrist problem and boards that have a lot of resistance when i paddle it get a uh, uh, it's very hard for me. I get uh, inflammation in my wrist. And this board is very light to paddle. So this has become my favorite board. But it is a problem for me. There goes the problem away with my new board. I asked Erika one year ago, should I order a board for you? No, she said, I have what I need. Yes, but I didn't know it was going to be so good. It's fast, it's light and it's really easy to paddle with. And the big problem, the board shop don't have any boards in stock. So we can't get another board before spring. Click here to subscribe and here to watch more videos. Thank you for watching, feel free to share my videos and see you. Until then, paddla lugnt!